double or triple bond, and it is alkenes or alkenes or halogens. What is the general formula of alkene? Saturation or double bond equivalent of alkane? Why zero? There's no saturation in the Or what is the formula to find out DBE? C plus one minus H plus X minus N divided by So when you substitute these numbers here, we'll get DBE. DP is double bond equivalent. DPE or DOU, same thing. Degree of unsaturation, double bond equivalent. Okay, both are same thing. Okay? So, what are the This one. It's a formula for DP. So, no, like each so one. This C is the number of carbon atom, H is the number of hydrogen atom, X is the number of halogen atom, N is the number of nitrogen atom. So, what is this compound? If it is there, then we take it as zero. We don't consider that. If an oxygen also present, we won't consider it. See, it's a, it's a just a trial tested formula for unsaturation. What is this compound? Is this alkane? Alkane or what? It's an alkane. No, 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 DOU is one So what is this? It's, it's a cyclic alkyl. Yeah, it's a cyclic alkyl. So, so you said that DOU of one, you can double. make either as a double bond or a double bond. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, there is no double bond in this. So right? Only single, single bond is there. Yeah. But its degree of concentration is one. So it is not alkane. Right? Actually, hydrocarbons are open chain compound. Hydrocarbons are open chain compound. Closed chain compound is the other category. Right? Closed chain is the other category. We call it cyclohydrocarbon or cycloalkane, cycloalkane species. Right? So, hydrocarbons are open chain um, compounds containing carbon and hydrogen. Okay? Now, uh, First one we write down, we'll see the preparation and properties of first alkane and then we'll move on to alkenes and alkanes. Write down alkanes. <laughs> write down the heading alkanes. And first thing we'll see, the preparation method of alkanes. Preparation of alkanes. Again I'm telling you, these reactions you have to memorize. Okay, preparation and properties, reactions you have to memorize. First one we write down, the first method of preparation is hydrolysis of hydrolysis of certain carbides. Hydrolysis of certain carbides. Certain carbides. Write down. Uh, compounds of carbon like Al4C3, aluminum carbide. So anything with carbon. No, not anything I'll tell you. First we write down. Right on, there are certain carbides which on hydrolysis, there are certain carbides which on hydrolysis produce, produce alkane, produce alkane. For example, you see, BE2C, beryllium carbide, BE2C, on hydrolysis H2O, it gives CH4 plus BEOH on price. Reaction. Similarly, if you have aluminum carbide Al4C3, balance this reaction. This reaction is possible. Al4C3 on hydrolysis, it gives again CH4 and AlOH4 aluminum hydroxide. Okay. Balance reaction is not required. You want you can balance this reaction, but you should know the product, what product we get under what reaction. Okay. 
that is more important. Now, why these carbides form uh, uh, methane in this reaction? Because you see, this Pe2C on dissociation it forms 2Be2 plus plus C4 minus. Same thing we have for Al4C3 also. Right? C4 minus forms, that's why it forms CH4. So, hydrolysis of certain carbides gives you alkene. How this Al4C3 dissociates? Al4C3. 4Al3 plus C4 minus. The charge must be balanced, right? 4 minus and 4 plus neutral. So, Al4C3 dissociates as 4Al3 plus plus 3C. Again, C4 minus, that's why it forms CH. Okay, so certain carbides on hydrolysis gives okay. How it forms propane? There's only one carbon. No, so in here, 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 here. See, it like this. So we have 3 C4 minus ion. So it can take C. Huh? Three carbon we have there. Huh. Propane, three carbon. We have this ion, C4 minus. I have three. Similar ions present. So it can take 4 H plus to form CH4. If you have if you have uh, this thing, um, if you have C3 like this some compound it, then it can form propane. But it has only one carbon atom which is 4 minus. That's why it forms CH4. Why can't you use C3 minus C3? Because they have minus this, this. No, it won't go like this. 3 C4 minus we have. How it can join? 3C4 minus. This minus one, how it can work? So, this is how the reaction goes. Forms alkane, CH4. Next method you write down from alkene. From alkene. So, here we don't have any catalyst. No, no. On hydrolysis, simply, this will be a panel. Again, hydrolysis. Next write down from alkene. Write down alkene on reduction. Alkene on reduction. On reduction. Yes, alkene. Yes, alkene. The various reagents we use for this purpose are. The various reagents we use for this purpose are. Next line, the first one you write down. We can use hydrogenation H2. In presence of a catalyst like nickel, platinum, palladium, etc. These are the catalysts. Okay? The reagent is H2. Another one is we can use BH3 in THF. THF is the solvent in with with CS3CO, which you have to remain. Third one, we can also use hydrazine. NH2, NH2 in peroxide, H2O2. Okay, these three, huh? What's Tetra hydrofuran. So, so it's in the presence of CO2. Any acidic medium or it? Generally, we'll take weak, weak acidic medium. See, we, we'll discuss the mechanism of this also. Right now, we are not discussing it. I'll tell you how the reaction will go and what product you get. But we'll discuss uh, one chapter called reaction mechanism. I told you this, right? Yeah. Reaction mechanism. We'll see all this, how this uh, reaction goes. If if I want to discuss this now, it, it is very difficult for you to understand. Okay. Also, the catalyst, the one catalyst. Watch this one. No, no, it's not catalyst. BS3 in the solvent we use, and in the second step we use CH3COH. Okay. So when you get that question, the entire thing will be written. In the question itself. Which is the catalyst in that? This catalyst is not there. BS3 is a reagent. It is present in the sea. When the reaction takes place, there must be some uh, medium in which the reaction place, right, takes place. So THF is the solvent in which it is present. What is the reagent? What is the reagent? Tetrahydrofuran. Tetrahydrofuran. Which is a... The reagent is BS3. In THF we use, and in the second step we use this acid, which gives H plus, and we get the product. Okay, I'll write down the reaction here. Okay, so last that five member drink with one oxygen present. Okay, now you see the reaction. Suppose we have this R C H double bond C H two. 
This is the alkene. We have to prepare alkene from this. We can use all these three reagents. Suppose the first one we are using is H2 with nickel or platinum or palladium. Any of these um, catalysts we can use. The product we get here is R CH single bond CH2 and the two hydrogen attached. Remember one thing, this addition is syn addition. Syn addition means the both hydrogen attached from the same side. Same side it's there. Okay? We'll have a transition state and then it forms. Syn addition, that is what you have to memorize. Okay? This reaction we call it as So, what is Sendrin's reaction? Involves addition of H2 on alkene and the addition is what type? Syn addition. Okay? Both hydrogen attached from the same side. So, the Sendrin's. Sendrin's. S E N D E R E N S. You have done this chapter in the school. I have never seen the name. The only name I remember is Protection of elements. This is also syn addition of H2. We call it as hydroboration reaction. This is hydroboration reaction. RCS to CS. No, actually it goes like this. First you draw this like this. So is it name because of the No, no, no. I'll explain it. See, this is the reaction. And we write down the products like this. CH2, CH3. But there is a transition state in between these reactant and product. The transition state is what? This hydrogen is trying to attach with this carbon atom, CH single bond CH2, and this carbon is trying to attach with this hydrogen. So we'll have a transition state, a cyclic transition state we'll have like this. This pi bond is about to break, and this sigma bond is about to form, this sigma bond is about to form, and this hydrogen hydrogen sigma bond is about to break. So since both hydrogen is coming from the same side, that's why we are calling it as syn addition. Advantage of this is what? Suppose you have a question like this. What they will do not in the board exam in comparative exam. They will give you this question with H2 and the reagent is nickel. Right? The products options they will give you like this. H, H, another option is this. So this or this or this one? Which one is correct? This is not possible, right? Because one hydrogen is coming out of the plane, okay? And this is both hydrogen coming from the same side, this is also the same side. So this is also right, this is also right, this is not possible. So why can't they do that? Because of this. Both are the Because of the cyclic transition. This bond is hydrogen hydrogen bond is not breaking here. Oh, so just both is attaching from the same side. And when this bond is about to form, then this is so they have to be in the same place. Same plane from the same side of the carbon. Either from this side or from this side. 
That is the meaning of sin addition. No, it's not. There, it is not a series of specific. So anywhere it can attach. So the first two are. First two are.